So this question says, the ratio of x to y is the same for all values in the table to the right. That's just talking about this table here. Find the values of a and b. So we've got this ratio table and one column is labeled as x and one column is labeled as y. And because it's a ratio table, we can read it as for every two, we have seven. And in this row, we could read it as for every four, we have 14. It's not like they give you something specific like dollars per hour or miles per hour or dollars per pound. So we just have to use what they have here. Long story short, we have the variable A here and the variable B here, and we're gonna have to find what the values of those variables are. When it comes to a question like this, I like to create a small little mini table for each of my missing values. Let me show you what I mean. Let's start by making a table to find the value of A. And after that, if you want, you can pause the video and try to use that as a model to find the value for B. Let's get started. First, I'll make a table. Next, I'll write in a label for each of my columns. And we're going to use the same exact labels that we have in our original table. So the left column will be X. And the right column will be Y. This first row here is for any given ratios that we have. That means we'll have both numbers in that row. So we have two rows that we have both values. We've got 2 to 7 and 4 to 14. I prefer using the ratio that's the smallest. The smaller the numbers are, the easier the math should be. So in X I'll put 2 and in Y I'll put 7. In this row here, I'm going to make sure that whatever value I'm missing goes in first. So in the Y column, we have A. So I'll write an A in this Y column here. Next, I have to write in the X value that's next to the A here. And if we go back to our table, that's going to be the value 8 in the X column. Now that every box in our table is filled, now we can get to work. The best way to find the missing value, if possible, is to look for the column where you have both values. In the X column, I have 2 and 8. So the question is, how can we go from 2 and use multiplication or division to turn it into 8? Well, that would be times 4, because 2 times 4 will give you 8. And whatever you do to the left side of the ratio table, you should do to the right side. So what do you think we'll do to seven? You got it. We're gonna multiply it by four. And when we do that, seven times four gives us 28. So that means that the value A is equal to 28. So now let's take a look at B. We're trying to find out what the value of B is when our Y value is 70. So let's start off the same exact way. And that was by making a table. Next, we'll write in the labels for our table. This column is X. And this column is Y. Remember, the first row is for a given ratio that we have. So we should have both values up top here. The best idea is to use the smallest numbers you have. So even though we could use four and 14, it's a better idea to use two and seven. So let's write that in. Under X we'll put two, and under Y we'll put seven. In this row here, we should place the missing value that we have. That's the variable B and that's in our X column. So under X, we'll write B. And in this box here, 
we have to write whatever the y value is next to b. And since the 70 is next to b, we'll write it in our table here. Now that every box in our table is filled, the next thing and the easiest way to do this is to see if in a column where both numbers are, if there's some way to go from the first number to the second by using multiplication or division. Well, what do you think? I can't use this column here because that's B, so I don't know what this is turning into. But this column here, I've got 7 up top and 70 in the bottom. So what do you think we'll have to multiply by to go from 7 to 70? If you said multiply by 10, that's absolutely correct. So we'll put times 10 here. And because it's a ratio table, whatever we do to the right side, we're gonna do to the left. So we'll put two times 10. And what's two times 10? Well, that's 20. So we could say B equals 20. And so we found both of our values. Remember, make sure your work is nice and neat and whatever you do to the left side, you do to the right. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the Math Review.